Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking you through HTML deprecated tags. In this video tutorial, we'll go through some tags which are deprecated from HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. The current version of HTML we are using is HTML 5.0. Before it was introduced, we used HTML4 to create a web pages structure. Some tags were deprecated from HTML, so we are going to discuss about them in this video. So what is deprecation? Deprecation does not mean removal. So in IT, deprecation refers to something available or allowed but not recommended anymore. In HTML terms, any tag which is tolerated or supported but not recommended to use is known as a deprecated tag. So several tags were deprecated from HTML with the introduction of HTML 5.0. Let's have a look at some of them because it's not possible to cover all of them in a single video. The first tag we are going to discuss is the applet tag. This tag was used to embed the Java applet in an HTML document. So this tag doesn't work anymore because most browsers out there don't support plugins including the Java plugin. We'll take you through the syntax but we don't have the JDK installed in our system right now. So you guys can check if you have JDK installed on your system. Now the syntax goes like this. We'll move to the body tag of a HTML document and we'll mention the applet tag over here. Fine. So we'll write here applet so this is the tag then it contains some attributes as well so we have to write here code code is going to be let's say java applet dot class fine then we'll style it as well and we'll write over here let's say background color fine so background color is going to be gray let's say we have to remove this semicolon from here and we have to put it here. Now we'll write something over here inside the tag. So we'll write here your applet goes here. Fine. So we'll write here your applet goes here. Or we can say your code goes here. Fine. Save the program. And here you can see we have this small text present over here on the browser, which is gray in background color and it says your code goes here. Fine. Tag we are going to discuss is the center tag. So if you remember guys, we used a text align attribute with several heading tags to align the heading at the center of the browser. So today we'll use both the ways of doing so. So what we'll do is we'll go through the center tag and we'll also go through the alternative to this particular tag. So we'll write here center. Now we'll write something over here. So let's say we are writing over here, this is heading 1. Save the program and here you can see it is present at the center of a browser. So you can see it over here, this is heading 1 is present at the center of a browser. So let me increase the size a bit. So this is heading 1, it is present in the center. So we are going to use the heading tag within the center tag. So we are going to use a nested tag here. So we'll mention h1 over here we are going to keep this sentence inside the h1 tag save it now and here you can see this is heading 1 is present at the center of our browser fine now we'll use the alternative to this tag because the center tag is now deprecated from html so instead of that we'll use the text align property which is a css property so we'll mention the h1 tag over here now we'll use the same heading we'll use this is heading 1. Fine. Now we are going to use the CSS property. So we'll mention the style attribute over here. We are going to write here text align at the center. Fine. We are going to remove this semicolon from here. We are going to put it here. Save it now. And here you can see we have this is heading 1 present on the browser. So the output looks exactly the same in both cases. But the difference is that the center tag is now deprecated in HTML. We can still use these tags, but it's not recommended to use them anymore. Now, the next tag we have is the font tag. So let's go through the syntax directly. 
so we'll write over here we'll put a break over here so we are going to use the break tag and now we are going to use the font tag fine so we have certain attributes for the font tag so we'll write here font face face is going to be let's say cursive and we are going to write here serif fine so let's use the color as well so we'll write here color color is going to be let's say blue and we are going to use the size as well so size is going to be let's say 4 fine so we are going to close this font tag and we'll write over here this is the font tag fine. now save this program and here you can see we have this is the font tag this is the sentence we have present over here on the browser this is blue in color you can see and the font size is 4 fine so we have to write here cursive instead of this save it now and here you can see this is cursive font now fine now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to discuss the menu tag this tag is used to create a menu list on a web page the syntax for this tag goes like this so we are going to use a break tag first here then we are going to use the menu tag fine so this is our menu tag so we'll write over here let's say bmw we are going to use the list tag within the menu tag and then we are going to paste it for a few times we are going to mention different names over here let's say we are writing here audi then we have Ferrari and lastly let's say we have Honda so these all are car manufacturers save it now and here you can see we have a list present over here we have a all the list in bullet points over here so this is basically an unordered list instead of using the menu tag we use list tag for such tasks now. guys you remember we have the option of unordered and ordered list right so the ordered list is used for numberings like a b c d and one two three four and unordered list is used for bullet points so instead of using the menu tag we use these tags nowadays the del tag we used in previous videos for striking a light through a piece of text is an alternative to the strike tag the strike tag had the same task so let's go through the example directly now we'll write over here strike and let's do one thing let's remove this strike tag from here so what we are going to do is we are going to put a break over here and we are going to use a paragraph so let's say we are writing over here this tag is used to now we are going to use the strike tag within the paragraph tag fine so these all are nested tags so we'll write like strike a line within the strike tag and then we'll complete the sentence over here text we are going to write over here save it now and let's see the output so here you can see we have the line present over strike a line the del tag is now used to do the same task if you want to see the output for del tag let me do it over here and we are going to use the del tag directly so we'll write over here like this and we are going to let's say use strike a line again save it and here you can see we have exactly the same output like the strike tag fine the underline tag or the u tag is also deprecated from html when html5 was introduced the syntax for that goes like this we have to write here u and we have to write here hello there save it now and here you can see the output hello there is underlined over here fine let's use a break tag over here and save it now so here you can see we have this underlined hello there present over here on the browser so this is how the underline tag used to work now instead of using the underline tag we use the text decoration css property for underlining a piece of text all the tags we saw in this video are now deprecated from html besides tags certain attributes were also deprecated like the text attribute this attribute was used within the body tag to change the font color of all the text present within the body now the alternative to this tag is the color attribute now so the color attribute we use mainly inside the style attribute or we can say color is a property so let's use the text attribute once so we'll write here text 
let's say we are going to write over here red save it now and here you can see everything is red in color now now instead of using this text attribute we use the color property so it is basically a css property now the background color property we use for changing the background color of any tag was previously used as the bg color attribute bg color was an attribute while background color is a css property all the html attributes are now replaced by certain css properties so i hope you guys must have understood the concept of deprecated tags in html we went through some examples of deprecated tags in this video also the list is long and discussing all the tags in a single video is quite hard so here's a tip for you guys if you are using vs code it will show almost all the deprecated tags in red so here you can see all the tags almost all the deprecated tags are in red color i don't know what's the problem with these two the menu tag and the underline tag so they are not in red color but they are also deprecated from html and it may happen that these tags will not work in your systems because it depends on the browser you are using if it supports these tags or not so i want you guys to give it a try and let us know what you learned so that's all for this video guys see you in another session if you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up comment your doubts below please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you